Hello everyone. In this video, we will take a first look at the new co-pilot experience in Power Automate and the new Cloudflow designer experience. With the co-pilot, we can simply describe our flow in natural language and the co-pilot will work with us throughout the journey of creating and editing the flow. The new Cloudflow designer experience provides a refreshed experience for us to design our cloud flows. So let's take a look of both these features by creating flows. The new Copilot experience in Power Automate allows you to create automation by simply describing what you need through multiple steps of conversation. Save Microsoft Forms response in Dataverse. Submit my description and it goes ahead and suggests a flow based on the description that I have provided. I can make changes to my description as well. I want to store it in SharePoint and you can see how the suggested flow has changed where the action is to create the item in the SharePoint list and add a condition to create the item. So the flow will start when a new response is submitted to Microsoft Forms. Then the flow will get the details of the response. Then we have a condition and then it will go and create the item. There could be multiple suggestions as well that AI provides. In this case, I'll click next and it will go ahead and create the connections to the different connectors that the flow would be leveraging. In this scenario, Microsoft Forms and SharePoint. I'll click next and it leads me into the new Power Automate designer experience. This enhanced designer experience allows for easy navigation and zooming along with a mini map to provide better visibility for your entire flow. And alongside, we have a co-pilot that can help and guide us in creating our flow. Now the co-pilot actually walks us through all the steps that have taken place for us to reach to this point. Here is the description that I provided. It also tells me what it can potentially do for me. For example, add an action that sends an email or explain what a specific action does. It gives me details about the different connections that the flow has. And right here, I have the option to go ahead and save my flow. And in the chat experience itself, we have an actions icon, which if you click, it will give you a few options that will help us get started. For example, explain flow. So the flow creates a webhook for a Microsoft form and retrieves the response details for the form. And if a condition is met, it creates a new item in SharePoint. We can also select specific actions in the flow and notice when you do that, the new designer launches the properties panel that's on the left hand side. With this item selected, if I go to Copilot and I say explain the action, notice this time the intent is different. Explain what the create item action does in this flow. And Copilot goes about describing what that action will potentially do for me. And you can do this for any specific action of your flow. I can even ask a question. For example, tell me more about Power Automate Child Flows. So you can ask questions about Power Automate. Or we can add actions. Add an action to send an email if the condition is true. The copilot has gone ahead and added the action for us. Here is that action. And I can start configuring the different parameters of the action. So who do you want to send this email to? I'll enter a custom value 
And right here, we have a couple of options. We can insert data from a previous step. This is dynamic content. Or we can click on FX, which opens up the expression dialog. And check this out. If you click on full screen, if full screen experience for our expression, we also get dynamic content side by side. We can see all the different expressions that are available with their syntax. And we also have IntelliSense baked in right here. So let's begin configuring this flow. When a response is submitted, I'll pick one of my forms, Contoso Feedback Form. Then for Get Response Details, I'll pick that form. And from my trigger action, I get the response ID. My Microsoft form is taking product feedback and I have three simple questions within it. I would like to send an email notification if the product rating is less than five. Now in the parameter for this specific condition, I can go to dynamic content and pick that specific question and then define my condition, which is if this is less than five, that's my condition. If that matches, it will go ahead and send the email. Now I have a create item action here that I do not want. So I can select it, go to the three ellipses and delete it. Or we can also leverage the copilot, remove the create item action. It's gone ahead and removed that specific action. I do have the option to undo. The send an email action. I'll send an email to, I've plugged in my email address, the subject. Here I can enter dynamic content or write expressions by selecting these icons or if you put forward slash, it will launch those same options for us to select from. So I'll pick dynamic content. I'll pick the rating that the user provided. If I go to add parameters, there are many other properties that I can leverage. If you go to settings under general, you can define the timeout for the action, the retry policy, secure inputs, secure outputs within the flow. We also have a code view. So you can see the entire code behind the specific action. This is read only. You can also give static values for testing. About will give you details about that connector. You can delete this action or you can add a note for this specific action. And to rename the action, click on the name of the action and rename it. You can add an action and this will open the different connectors that we can pick. Or we can simply search for specific actions or connectors. I'll add the compose action for example. Another key thing, if you go to settings, run after. When you're trying to perform error handling or in scenarios where you want to run certain actions based upon what happens with the preceding action, compose runs after get response details. It only runs if get response details is successful. If I would want to run this, even if this times out or it skips or it has failed. As I'm framing this, there are different icons or colors indicating the different run after statuses. And these same indicators also show up in the flow experience right here. Let's try and add another action. I'll add in another compose action for this one. If I go to settings, here it lists out all the preceding actions. So let's pick get response details. So if I select that, get response details, I can pick my run after conditions here as well. And notice how the flow has gone ahead and created the branching logic accordingly. We can always add a parallel branch by clicking on the plus icon. So that completes my flow. I'll go ahead and click save. 
and that's gone ahead and created my flow here i used a combination of the copilot and the new flow designer experience i'll go ahead and fill out the microsoft form i'll give it a low rating submit and here is the new email that i have received if i head back this will take me to the flow details page here if i go back to edit i have two options edit with designer this will take me to the classic flow designer experience fully supported you can customize the flow here or we have the option to also try the new cloud flow designer experience that has the copilot that works along with us this also works for existing flows for example i have an approval flow here i'll open it both in the classic and the new designer experience so in the classic designer here i have a do until action with a switch case and i have various switch cases in cases of complex flows it does get challenging when you need to navigate through the different elements of the flow understand the the entire process of your flow however notice in the new experience it's a lot more intuitive i can close the switch case i can realign my flow i can open the switch case i can close certain cases once again realign of course the mini map does help as i can see the different areas of my flow and the best part i can ask copilot to explain the flow and it's gone ahead and explained the details of what this flow does when a new email arrives post to teams and it's gone ahead and added a suggestion i'll select next to we'll add my connections i'll select next and i'm straight into the new designer experience when an email arrives from a specific email address only then post in teams and the copilot springs into action and it may add some extra actions as well depends upon how it interprets my intent click on this if you notice the from property it's gone in and plugged in that the email has to come from sara only then this flow would trigger it's also updated the message action and if i go in there you see it's updated the message also to say that a new email has arrived from sara when that message is getting posted to teams now i do not want that condition so i will say remove the condition and it has gone ahead and removed the condition action next for the post message in a chat or channel in the message i would also like to add the body of the email add the email body into the post message in chat or channel action and it's gone ahead and updated this action now notice it's tried to put that expression in but it didn't do it accurately in this case remember it's ai generated content it may be incorrect the good part is i always have the option to undo if i feel that's not the right step that it has taken so if i click undo and click revert it will take me back to the previous state and in this case here i'll put a slash dynamic content and i'll just put the body of the message i'll post this to my cat team in the general channel i can even save the flow directly from the copilot experience the flow is saved and listening to any new email that i receive from sara so sara has sent me an email with a message the flow will trigger pick that message and post it in the general channel of my cat team if you head over to my flows if i go to new flow i can also use describe it and design it here when a new item is added in sharepoint send me an email i'll click next connections are in place 
Next, straight out creates the flow for me. Now I need to start defining the parameters for my actions. I have a list in SharePoint where I receive expense report details. So I'll connect to my SharePoint site. I'll pick my list and for send an email. Here, leverage dynamic content to get my mail. Subject, I'll pick the title of the item from SharePoint and in the body, put the title, expense type, and any other piece of information that you would like to put in. Now let's say I would like to send the email only if the amount entered is greater than 50. Let's try and see if Copilot can do that for us. Add condition to only send email if the amount of item created is greater than 50. And it's gone ahead and performed the updates. It added a condition. Now notice it did not add any expression for the condition. So let's give it another try. Update the condition action to add expression to check if amount is greater than 50. So let's see the condition says it's updated it. You can see how it's gone ahead and added the entire expression in for us. From the trigger action, it's pointing to that amount column. It type costs it to an integer and checks to see if that's greater than 50. So if that's the case, only then it will go ahead and send the email. So let's save this flow and let's go ahead and give this a try. So I've created one entry where the amount is greater than 50. Now I'll create another one where the amount is less than 50. We can also test the flow directly from the Copilot experience. You can see how it walks us through the different steps that were successfully executed. And I receive an email related to the item that was greater than 50. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.